This is Sand Point. We got Grand Island behind us. Unicine's over there. This 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 wind is insane. 30 mile an hour wind. On October 13th, my trail brother Nick and I returned to Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore on the fourth day of our Upper Peninsula expedition for more hiking, exploring, and reveling in the Grand Peak autumn colors. Our first hike of the day was in the Beaver Basin Wilderness area, where we traveled around the primitive and remote nine-mile loop around Beaver Lake and the shores of Lake Superior. The forest canopy and foliage were shimmering after hard rain the night before. I'm the Maple King. You got that? You're a true backpacker. Shoogity shook shook. I'm the Maple King. MapleKing.com. After basking in the grandeur of Lake Superior and the kaleidoscope of colors between the water, the beach rocks, and the sand, we joined up again with the North Country Trail for a few miles of epic cliff line hiking around this glorious body of fresh water.
We found a wild dog in the woods. Hi puppy, can I pet your head? You're a cutie. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> After completing the Beaver Lake Loop, we drove around 20 miles west to the famous Miner's Castle Overlook, which is a pleasant 0.5 mile hike around several vistas overlooking the lake, Grand Island, and the geological features that make Pictured Rock so iconic. into the truck and drove down the ridge line to Miner's Beach for a quick walk on some supremely soft sand and some unexpected sunshine along some towering cliffs behind us. Rejuvenated by the warmth of the autumn sun, we continued our adventure by stopping at the Miners Falls Trailhead, which is a well-trafficked 1.2 mile hike down to a vertical torrent of water cascading into the valley floor below. last hike of the day was to Munising Falls, which is a simple 0.4 mile hike to a waterfall tucked within a canyon, eaten away by years of snow, ice, and rainfall. 
which felt very reminiscent to some canyons and rock shelters back home in Kentucky. Before heading to the hotel for the night, we raced to Sand Point to experience the strength and power of life on the Great Lakes with crashing waves and 30 mile per hour winds hitting our faces. Hey, well that wraps it up for Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. This was the second day, incredible. Highly recommend to see it in the fall. We are running from a thunderstorm right now, which is crazy. Uh, just a quick status update. We weren't able to stay at Little Beaver Lake Campground last night. That's why I don't have any footage of it. Uh, everything got rained out in a super cold torrential flood. We had to book a motel for the night. Nick also hasn't been feeling great. So we're staying again at the motel tonight to see how he's doing, do a little monitor hour by hour. So we'll see what the next day holds. But anyways, you, you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, and we'll catch you in the next one, all right? See if we can beat this storm.